thimbles. The useful sewing accessory that makes the art of hand sewing more efficient and dare I say bearable. Thimbles may all look alike for the most part, but functionality is key when doing hours of binding work on a quilt, jackets, or other articles of clothing. Finding one that fits you and works for you and makes sewing more comfortable is so important. So today, fellow hand sewing enthusiasts, I'm going to show you how to make a custom fit leather thimble that was made just for you. To get started with today's sewing endeavor, you're going to need a few supplies. So here's a quick peek at what we're going to be constructing today. Beeswax can be really helpful doing any hand sewing, especially if using an organic or all natural thread like linen. This is going to strengthen your thread. The thread I'm gonna be using for today's thimble is gonna be 100% linen thread, but any thread you have will work. Scissors, these are just some very sharp and very small embroidery scissors. You'll also need a small scrap of leather. You can repurpose an old leather item of your choosing or purchase a small bag of scrap leather at your local craft or hobby store. The leather scrap I'm using is a piece that is about the thickness of a quarter, for reference, because dare I say the size or thickness does matter. You'll need two small pieces roughly the same size to cut out your pieces for your thimble. Thimbles are typically worn on the middle finger of your dominant hand. So start by taking your leather and a marking pen. The pen is going to be used to trace around your finger on your dominant hand so your thimble will fit snugly when stitching. Begin by laying your leather piece on a table or work surface and place your dominant hand middle finger on the piece of your leather. Slowly trace around your finger, making sure that you leave about a quarter inch of room all the way around. This is going to account for the stitching the two pieces together around the curvature of your finger. Thimbles typically fit down to the first joint from the tip of your middle finger on your dominant hand. So make sure you also mark down a quarter inch from that joint to allow room for stitching the tip of your thimble. Doing this will make sure that it's long enough for your finger. After tracing around your middle finger of your dominant hand on one piece of your leather, it's time to begin cutting. Grab a pair of scissors that are sharp enough to cut through leather easily and begin cutting around the mark that you just traced. Once you have tediously finished cutting one piece of your leather, you can go ahead and trim up any rough edges that you may find. You want your thimble to look nice and smooth, this will allow for seamless sewing. Now that you've completed cutting your first piece of leather, grab your second scrap piece and using that first piece as a template, you can either just begin cutting or you can draw around that piece and then cut. I found that tracing the first piece that I already cut instead of just cutting the second piece made for a more seamless process. Now you're ready to repeat the same steps that you did before. You should now have two identical pieces of leather cut and trimmed. So one final step I usually do before I start sewing is place the pieces on top of each other, look to see if there's any irregularities in the size, and I trim up any hard corners. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned when I started to make my own thimbles. So this isn't a step that you have to do, but I have found that it makes the sewing the thimble a little bit easier. I'm going to be using one of my vintage treadle sewing machines today, but a regular domestic sewing machine will also work. You're not going to plug the machine in and use power. You're going to use the hand wheel to puncture the holes in the leather to make your hand sewing a little bit easier. I begin by lining the flat piece of leather towards the back of my presser foot. Getting that needle as close as I can to the edge without it going over, I slowly begin engaging the hand wheel one stitch at a time. This is puncturing through the leather with the needle and this is gonna make it easier when it comes to hand sewing. 
your hand isn't gonna have to do the work to get the needle through the leather, it's gonna already be done for you. I have found that doing both pieces of leather for my thimble with the two pieces facing wrong sides together at the same time has made my thimbles more consistent. If using a regular home domestic sewing machine, make sure that you remove any thread and the bobbin thread. We're not actually doing any sewing, we're just utilizing the strength of the machine and the needle to puncture through our leather. Now that all the prep work is done, it's time to begin sewing. You're going to need around 20 inches of thread to complete stitching all the way around your thimble. The larger your thimble, the more thread you're gonna need. It's always better to err on the side of caution and use too much thread or have too much thread available than to not have enough. So as previously stated, I'm gonna be using this 100% flax colored linen thread. I believe this thread I purchased from Burnley and Trowbridge. You can use a polyester thread or a cotton thread. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. Thread your needle, double up your thread, and tie a double knot at the end. So once you have your thread of choice secured to your needle with a double knot, we're gonna be waxing the thread. This is just gonna help strengthen that thread and really reinforce it since it is gonna be going through leather and it is gonna get quite a bit of use. So if beeswax is not something you typically keep in your sewing arsenal, fear not. You can use the thread as it is. It will be strong enough to hold your thimble together. Start by taking your two pieces of leather for your thimble and putting them wrong sides together. Then you're gonna take your threaded needle. Starting from the center of those two pieces of leather, you're going to find that first hole that you've made with your machine. Pull up your thread through that first hole. The knot at the end of your thread will be secured in the center of your thimble. Now it's time to begin sewing the exterior of our thimbles together. To do this, we're gonna be using a whip stitch, which is just a simple sewing stitch that's used in many different crafts, crocheting, knitting, and sewing, in which the needle is passed in and out of the fabric, or in this case, leather, in a series of stitches that kind of encircle the edge of your fabric. So your thread is always gonna be passed on the exterior of your thimble, encircling both of the raw edges. So pull the thread from the top, take the needle on the side, down and around, through the hole on the bottom and back up again. Again, up through the bottom, around the exterior outer edge, and then back up again. You're just gonna repeat this process around the entire exterior of your thimble. When holding your thimble and stitching it, your needle will always be coming up through both layers of leather, through the bottom and out the top circle around the exterior raw edges, back up through the bottom and out of the top. If you feel like your thread is starting to get a little weak or if you notice that it doesn't have any beeswax coating, you can stop and recoat your thread. So if that verbal explanation of what I was doing was a little bit too quick, I'm gonna go ahead and slow down this clip right here. Hopefully the slow motion video footage might make it a little bit more clear. I tried to get the best video footage I could, but obviously trying to film this and sew at the same time is a little bit challenging. But use this simple stitch to sew all the way around your thimble. So now it's time to bind off and you can use any method that you are the most comfortable with. This is what I found worked the best for me in keeping my thimble really secure, especially down at that bottom seam. I take my needle and I go through the exterior side seam, pull my thread up through the interior. So once my thread is pulling up from the inside of my thimble, like you can see here, I usually will repeat that step one or two times and then clip my thread. You can clip your thread on the exterior or the interior, either way is just fine. So now you've just completed sewing this really simple little leather thimble that will come in handy for all your hand sewing projects. So if it's hand binding quilts that gives you great joy or if you like to finish the seams of your garments or jackets by hand, thimbles really are a necessary item to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial learning how to make this really simple thimble and improve your hand sewing. I definitely would consider this a hand sewing essential if you're into historical dress reconstruction or costume design. There are many fiber artists out there that choose to do all of their sewing strictly by hand. So a hand sewn thimble is something you will always find in my hand sewing essentials bag. Make sure to check the description box below for a full list of resources for all the things that I used for today's project. Feel free to stick around by hitting that subscribe button down below.